Alrighty guys, welcome back to another one. In today's video, we're going to put together a really weird shell that has no real practical purpose at all. Uh, this is quad buck, which is the biggest size you can use in 12 gauge, 375 cal. And number four buck, which is 24 cal. It's technically the smallest size of buckshot you can use in any gauge, although there are smaller. But yeah, pretty much we're taking the biggest size you can use in 12 gauge and mixing that with the smallest buckshot size there is. Again, no real practical purpose at all. It's just a fun thing to have at the range to uh, enjoy. So the components on this is really simple. You do need a three inch shell, and I guess that goes with the, without saying you have to enjoy recoil too a little bit. So we have a three inch Shadot hull. We're using this stuff right here, my favorite, 26. A Flex Seal wad. These are symmetrical. There is no top, there is no bottom. Load them either way. But yeah, when you have Flex Seal wad, you can also use an X12X with a quarter inch or a felt, fiber, cork, whatever you have. On top of that, we're using six pellets of 375 cal quad buck. These are green and red. I have them powder coated because that's what I did for our Christmas special from last year. I made some Christmas quad buck. Anyway, six pellets of that is 1.07 ounces or one and one sixteenth ounce. And after that, we need 16 pellets of 24 cal number four buck. And yeah, these are tiny. To get a size comparison real quick, I'm not sure how well you can see that, but big difference <laughs> so other than that that's that's all that's in here like i said a really simple shell although this is a three inch you can do this in two and three quarter inch too just drop two pellets of the quad book although we like recoil so three inch it is heavier payload the total payload on this is 1.82 ounces so just a fuzz below ounce and seven eighth. If you want to add buffer, it will bring it up to a full ounce and seven eighth. But like I was saying earlier, there is no real need for buffer. This is just range food, essentially. I don't expect this to pattern all that well. But if you guys want to see us uh, film a range segment on these, let us know and we'll do that. Although, like I said, I do not expect these to pattern that well. It's just more for blowing up trash, in my opinion. But anyway, to get this started, we need that. Our Flex Seal Wad. These go together so fast. Now, I have three red ones and three green ones. What I like to do is drop the first two in, push them down, make sure they're seated, and then grab the next two and randomly toss those in too. Now, the next layer, what I do, if I have two different you know, colors of these, the green one is on the bottom on this side. I drop the green one on that side, or sorry, the red one on that side, and drop the green one on the other. That way we have a symmetrical, if you want to call it that, arrangement in there. They're in a pattern, which looks pretty cool. If we look down from the top, you can see that a little bit better. We have green, red, green, red. Now next, we need 16 pellets of number four buck and for those i just toss them in and give them a shake they should level themselves out on top we do have a row of seven i believe one two three yep seven three on the outside one right in the middle and it is flat on top now right here is where you'd want to add buffer if you want to add buffer but again i don't think these were these will pattern that well anyway just being honest that 16 pellets of number four buck weighs around three quarter ounce. Either way, this is now a 1.82 ounce shell here. So relatively heavy, not quite as heavy as you can go with lead in three inch. But uh, this is my 10 gauge Lilo doll here. It was originally 12, so we'll pre-crimp on it. And then I have the rebasitor. You guys can see it right here in front. We'll give it the rebasitor treatment, but here is what the pre-crimp looks like. Formed just fine. Now the rebasitor. Alrighty, well, 
I don't intentionally do this, but sometimes the Rabassator just pretty much closes them up by itself. It's not really intended to do that. As you can see, the shell is belled out on top just a little bit. It's going this way. So run this through the final crimp of the Lee Load Oil and it should look like a factory shell if anyone actually made this, which is probably, I'll finish that thought in a second. Probably not something any factory's interested in loading. But anyway, as you can see, we did end up with a really good crimp. It's not perfect. There is a little bit of concaveness right in the middle, and that's because there's no overshot card in this. I didn't see the need for an overshot card because there's no buffer. If you were to put an overshot card in here, that would fix that slight concaveness. But again, it doesn't need it. And as you can see, that quad buck does not bulge out the hole. 375 cal is the biggest size you can use in 12 gauge. And you can fold crimp it as long as you keep stack height in mind. But back to the hole, this probably won't pattern that good thing. Well, we have shot some shells that uh, we wouldn't ever think in a million years it would pattern well. Mixed sizes, malformed pellets, stuff like that. And it actually ended up patterning pretty well. We have done, like I was saying, quite a few mixed sizes with birdshot and buckshot, and sometimes they actually tend to pattern really well, so who really knows? Quad buck does tend to pattern pretty good out of 12 gauge, using at least a modified choke. I wouldn't go tighter than full, but that's just me. Again, if you guys want to see us pattern this, just let us know in the comments, and we will for sure do it. But anyway, I suppose that's going to end this one here. Please like and subscribe. We always appreciate that. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below, and we'll get back to you. And if you want to, go check out our Patreon. It's as low as a dollar a month, and you guys get early access to content. A link to that, as well as a link to our Rumble, Instagram, and merch store will be in the description below. But other than that, you guys take it easy. We'll see you in the next one.